didn't even notice people were joining in. I was zoning out, I was drawing. Hello everyone, hello. Draw her feet. Don't be disgusting. We got to see F and F feet last stream. We gotta differentiate here. down a little bit music down a little bit voice up how about that that's not good last stream I watched the music was way quiet and my voice was so loud the mic was clipping like the whole time it made me fucking cringe watching it back fucking pissed me off <laughs> Eleven Monster said, "Hey, oh, hi, Phantom. Hello, Eleven Monster. Is there a link to the music? Nah, no link to the music. But this is called. Uh, this is the soundtrack of Tokyo Jungle. This is the uh, story mode soundtrack." Catchy. Hello, Blue from last stream. When you say last stream, you mean the Resident Evil 4 stream? with the funny green lines which help you shade oh you'll see eventually dinos mc said how you doing i'm doing good but alas you do you feel people saying fnf is a kid's game or slow and have brain damage 
How do you feel about people saying FNF is a kid's game, Mr. Phantom Arcade? Eh. How did Akira Toriyama feel about five-year-olds reading about Goku getting a giant bloody hole shot in his chest? I don't fucking know. I mean, I was 13 watching the most violent shit of all time. Now, am I saying that you should do that? No. But I mean, I was watching like horror movies where girls get like naked and stuff when I was like a teenager. So I don't know. And that being said, it's like, Friday Night Funkin' is never going to have anything as explicit as like an R-rated horror movie. I mean, it'll have like, I mean like, okay, last stream, so like, like last drawing stream we saw like boyfriend hopping out of clothes naked with his ass cheeks and feet out, right? But like, like five year olds read Dragon Ball and Goku has his literal fucking penis out at the start of the series. And I hate to break it to you, you will never see Boyfriend's penis in Friday Night Funkin', at least not his bare skin penis. So, like, Dragon Ball, which was read by fucking toddlers, has more nudity than Friday Night Funkin's gonna have. So that that's how I feel about it. If, you, if, if you're a parent and you don't like Friday Night Funkin', and you don't like Hangman calling them cunts, and you don't like seeing a guy's ass cheeks, and like, implied <laughs> fucking, then don't let your kids read it, or obviously read it, uh, play it. <laughs> T for Teb did one dollar and said, went back and started listening to the Sonic Rush OST because of the music you play on stream. Haven't listened to Rush OST in like 10 years, but remember it vividly. I should listen to the Rush OST. Not right now though. You'll never see Boyfriend's bearskin penis in Friday Night Funk in the video game. If the game does well and I can ever do like a comic or a movie, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some bearskin penis in there, guys. We gotta finish the dang game first. I can't finish the dang game from reading stream comments, so come on. Friday Night Funkin' will not be rated A. Monster Lover 3900 says $1 of Hey Dave question. What's the reason behind Nene's face? Also, is Pico by? People ask these damn questions where it's like, are you even. Have you been playing the game? Have you been following along? Like if somebody watches the opening of Dragon Ball Z and they're like, is Goku strong? Is his hair black? Okay. Enough of this shit. Let's get to work. All right, the hands are definitely better than they were. Much better. More shapely. action FNF movie. If there's a live action FNF movie, you can assume I've died and Cam has sold the rights. Because <laughs> that is not something I would ever do in a million years. Hand is the right side. 
guys. The face. I think the face is too big now. Eh, yeah, it's too big. Friday Night Funk in the series on Adult Swim. Now that, now that would be cool. That would be fucking awesome. But I mean, if Friday Night Funkin' had an animated series, it would just be on Newgrounds. You know, when I worked on the Smash collab, it, it had the deadline we were aiming for, and to make that deadline took some really crazy shit, and I planned on meeting that deadline like months and months in advance. Now granted, what was in the Smash collab, it never grew or changed. So that was good. Yeah, we had it planned out from the start what it would be and it was that till the end. But even still, by the time that was ready to come out, those final fucking weeks of making that were like, oh, it's almost like torture, even though it was fun. Uh, but like, in the end, Uh, all, all that mattered to me was making sure that that comes out, and life just started to revolve around purely that and only that, and there was so, like, when you get so close to being done with something, it's just like, you just, there's all these tiny things you have to do to, like, perfect it and finalize it. I admit, in some cases, not even perfect. In some cases, just get it to, to ship, so to say. But, uh, yeah, despite that we're still tweaking animations, or even watching me add an additional animation right here, it's like, oh, the new update. It's, it's at that Smash Collab level where it's like, it's been worked on for an eternity. There's so much stuff in it. There's so much stuff I'd like to move on and do. I'm just ready. I'm ready for it to release, but it's still... Oh, it still will take time. Damn dirty time. But that's why we're here today, to decrease that amount of time it's gonna take. Modders will definitely have many, many new toys once it's out. I mean, hell, just given the fact about leaks and the fact that your people are definitely tracing stuff from these streams, I mean, modders already have new toys. But they'll have many, many new toys once it's out. And they'll have many more toys to make. Don't forget to save. <laughs> Way ahead of you. And by ahead of you, <laughs> I mean behind you, because I wouldn't have done with you hadn't said it. Hey Dave, I was wondering how FNF copyright is going to be enforced when the game comes out. Not in terms of modding, but in terms of monetization and copyright takedowns on behalf of modders. Uh, copyright will work 
in the future the same way it works now. If you are distributing Okay, if you're if you're selling FNF stuff on a huge scale for money, be afraid essentially. Like if you if the person who's making all those bootleg dolls is in the chat right now, change your name, get attorneys, run away because we have a legal team now and we're looking for people like you and we're going to get you. Uh, but if you're like some FNF fan artist and you're just like selling prints at like a con, the good, do that. Like, go for it. Uh, if you're selling FNF on the App Store and you're putting in microtransactions or like scamming people and stealing their cell phone data, fuck you. We're gonna get you. We're gonna come for you. But if you are just like making an FNF mod and FNF mods are the ones that should. Okay, if you have like a Patreon to fund your FNF mod, then go for it. Uh, but then, like, se I think selling a mod is where it would get like tricky. Uh, but yeah, so basically, it's like if you're fucking people over and you're trying to make like a fucking company based off of this game, then fuck you. And we'll, we're, we'll, we'll work very hard to destroy you. <laughs> But if you're literally just a normal human being and you're just like making fan content and trying to make some money off of that and sell like fan stuff, by all means, do it. Go for it. Sell FNF mer like prints and stuff. As long as people know it's a fan thing. Don't try and pretend to be like the main team or something. And don't try and sell the work we've already made. Uh, but I feel like that that's the best way to put it. And we've already had people in the past who like were selling the game and doing weird stuff with it who came to us and they're like, hey, we fucked up, we did this, we're gonna take it down. Uh, yeah, like, there, you know, there have been some people who were just like, yeah, we shouldn't have done this, we were kind of doing this to get like money or popularity off of it, so we're sorry. And, uh, yeah, you know, appreciate that. Uh, but, like, yeah. A at the same time, it's funny, because I like bootleg stuff, but I feel like some of the bootleg stuff... Some of the bootleg stuff is going, like, way too far. Uh, another good point is, like, if you're making FNF fan animations that you have on YouTube that are monetized, I mean, great, go for it do it um and if you know if they include like fnf music that one's a little tricky but uh i say go for it um but yeah yeah like mo like fan fan animations that are monetized you know we're never gonna be like nintendo where it's like if you have a mario cartoon we're gonna come and copyright it and take the monetization for it like you're free to do that now, if you're just uploading the FNF music on YouTube and putting ads on it, once again, fuck you. You're you're a dick. If you're just putting FNF on music, you know, released FNF music on YouTube for whatever reason, even though it's already there, I mean, I don't know why you're doing that, but once again, that's fine. I mean, like, it really just comes down to, like, are you being a piece of shit or not? And if you're being a piece of shit, we're gonna try and, like, stop it. Anyway. Oh. Ill Will Boy said, Hey Dave, 8 equals equals D. Which kind of looks like a... Like a penis. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Monsters3900 said... Sorry for the dumb question I was asking. What is the reason Nene's face in the sprite? <laughs> Question's not dumb. Uh, Nene's face in the sprite is because she's getting excited, she's getting flustered, she's falling deeply and madly in love from head to toe and all above. JD56 to $3 said, 
Other than through your standard promotions like through the GoFundMe, Twitter, Newgrounds, Smirch, what kind of new promotion ideas do you have for the game? I know the game will eventually get a Steam port as well, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, that's really it. It's like the game, we're going to sell copies of it that have more content than the web version. And we're going to release new merch. Uh, and then, of course, you know, people are always free to donate through the game or, like, donate through any of our streams. But other than that, I mean, like... If, if, if you ever see a version of FNF with microtransactions, it's not ours. We're never going to do that. And if we do do that, then here's the clip you can use to embarrass the shit out of us. We've been, if that happens, we've been possessed by the, the, de the demons. Gonna buy $11 said, hey Dave, hope you're doing well. Actually said, hope you are well. Guess what, Garabites? I am. Javin to five dollars said, "Hey Dave, I'm coughing out my lungs from allergies. Well, I should be sleeping. Thanks for the stream. I always like watching anime. Hope to reach your level someday." Well, Javin, I hope you do too. Careful with the coughing, man. Allergy season sucks. Ella do one two three eight said, "Will you die on August twenty seventh, twenty thirty four at three sixty four three forty six p.m. due to mysterious causes?" Dude, two years from now, ten miles south of Southwest City, two androids will arrive, and they'll be stronger than any foe you faced yet. But worst of all. I'm gonna die of a heart disease a year before then. A mysterious heart illness for which no cure is yet to have been made. Alright, enough of this dumb shit. It's time to get back to work. If you do a donation, I'm gonna do a donation check. Probably like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes from now. We'll, we'll space them out so I'm not just constantly reading instead of working. That's a timeout, Noah. That's a fucking timeout. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, dude. Just shut the fuck up. Dude, just shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> just shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Just shut the fuck up. Where are those new hands I drew? Oh, there they are. Oh, that's weird, because I rotated them. They're all fucking different now. Oh, well, that's all right. Um, what size pen do I need? Let's see, that's 125. And what is this, three or about four? Four is too much. One, two, three, yeah, that's fine.
feel like I have the smoothing thing on. Be modern. La Sandia said, "Yo, hi, Phantom. Uh, um, um, uh, 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 hi, Spring La Sandia. I'm so glad you saw that." Okay, real quick. Um, jab into five dollars and said, "Hey, Dave. Oh no, I read that already. Okay." Uh, Barlow's to five dollars and said, I love you, Dave. You're Pogger. How is everything going with the Kickstarter shipment stuff? P.S. Your art is sex 69. I love it all. Kickstarter stuff is going pretty good. Would you, would you be surprised to know that making merchandise costs a lot of money? I've seen... It is funny because it's like I see people saying this stuff. I think I saw somebody. Cause there's I don't know. There's like a lot of people that just for some reason they're so always so. Some, there's some people who just think that like for some reason Ninja Muffin has all the money. But anyway, I've seen people on Twitter just saying like, "Oh yeah, Ninja Muffin's a fucking millionaire," and it's like, not really. <laughs> It like, with how many people back the Kickstarter, uh, and with how many rewards that means we have to produce, and that little goof up we did where the Tank Man backer thing it also gets like all the album stuff. Oops. Uh, yeah, that, that's like, like pretty much making the rewards is actually like a fairly big amount of the money, and because we didn't cheap out using ship materials or anything. Uh, yeah. I mean, now luckily, like, once again, you know, our Kickstarter did pretty good. So, like, it doesn't really hurt us. But, uh, I don't know. I'm actually, like, I'm glad the Kickstarter did as well as it did. Because I think in, like, the original, like, 60k asking, I think if we had only made that much, probably, like, there really wouldn't have been anything left for the game because like once Kickstarter takes its cut you pay taxes on all the money and you have to like produce all the like stuff that's that'll do it that'll really do it Kickstarter's a rough gig man That being said, because the Kickstarter did good, we have, we've been able to pay the people that we're working with very nicely. And we have access to like grabbing like really high caliber like industry professionals. 
So like, we can go up to people who normally would never give a shit about, about us or ever want to talk to us and say like, hey, we can pay you what like Cartoon Network would pay you. And they'll say, huh, you're not pieces of shit. I like you. Oh man, that's pretty cool. there are a lot of missing animations? How do you even know what's missing or not? You don't have the FOA. making a song for FNF would be fucking crazy. How do you even get in contact with that guy? If Toby Fox would do a song for Friday Night Funkin', we would be more than fucking happy to let him. God and his kingdom of heaven be fucking damned. We would, if he's down to do it, is a goddamn legend. Oh, I colored that hand already. Oops. Not anymore. Brazil. I don't want to go to Brazil. Is an Oro and Street Fighter 3 from Brazil? I don't want to hang out with him. I think Sean's from Brazil. I don't want to hang out with him. I said three dollars. He said, if Hatsune Miku knocked on your door, what would you do? She's got a fucking gun. Um, I'd say, she came to the door, she said, I'd say, who is it? And she'd say, 
I'd say, uh, um, I look at the little peephole. I put my eye up right next to the glass. I say, oh, oh, oh. is that, is that fucking, uh, it's like fucking Hansu Miku. What she, what she got? She got like a, oh, she, she got a gun. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, she, she got a, it's Hansu Miku. Oh, oh, she got a gun. Oh. <sighs> I'd open the door. <laughs> Get shot. I'd say, oh, hello there, Hatsunai Maiku. Nice to meet you. Uh, ouch. <laughs> Ow. Sound effects aren't loud enough, they ruin the joke by sucking. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Let's do like that brought up Sonic Rush. Let's do Sonic Rush OST. Nito tip five dollars said, "Hi Dave, my Pico Day animation is coming along cool. What's the possibility of an in-person Pico Day Newgrounds meetup? Meeting more NG people would be cool." Uh, the possibility of that is unfortunately low. I mean, like, first of all, we haven't done a physical Newgrounds meetup in quite a while, and second of all, those meetups are invite only. Uh. But, new grounders can always host their own meetups. It doesn't happen too often, but uh, there's this cool thing you can do called make friends, and then you can meet up with those friends in real life. And that's kind of like a new grounder <laughs> meetup. And hey, I've done that. The blind going tip three dollars ninety two cents said to add on to the FNF legal talk. How would you feel about FNF modders issuing copyright claims and strikes on YouTube and merchandising their mod characters? Ah, uh, that's probably what we don't want to happen, really. Uh, now that falls into tricky territory because if you make an original character and you happen to make an FNF mod about them, ah. Uh, I mean, like, I'll say this. If you're putting up an FNF mod that's using, like, Ninja Muffin's code and my gameplay of the characters moving and the boyfriend animations and all that stuff, and uh, you're kind of like, I mean, like, you're using Friday Night Funkin' with your character in it. So, like, you shouldn't really be... Copyright claiming people? I don't know. That's. Cause I mean, like, why would you go around, like, copyright striking people when we're not even doing that to people on YouTube? You know, we're, we're not going around, like, copywriting, like, footage of the game. Uh, so it's like, also I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the levels, wait, my mic sounds good, it's not clipping, right? I'm seeing it's getting close to clipping, I just wanna make sure it sounds good. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think we should all refrain from copywriting each other and treating each other like fucking animals. Now you know what if if there's if there's like a company in like Venezuela making dolls of your character and putting anthrax in them and shipping them out to people and killing them with it, then yeah may, maybe put a stop to that. Maybe use a copyright claim against them. Uh, or like if you're just if you're really being like ripped off or screwed over somehow, you know, defend yourself. But like, don't. 
I think it's best that like the flow of information and footage and stuff be like free. Yeah, it is oddly specific. It's oddly specific because there's really not too many situations where I think that people should be attacking each other and hounding each other. shit. Okay, so like a good example right there, the hip, the, the hypist just said map had better keep his mitts off F and F. <laughs> it's like, you know, if, if that guy is making a video about like theories for the game and he's monetizing them, then that's good, that's good. It's like he's having fun talking about the game and he's trying to make a living doing so, so then he should monetize that video. And it's like it has F and F stuff in it, but it's like, no, he, sh he should do that. that, that's good. And not to mention it's like MadPat makes videos that are like, it just like his own, it's all his own editing and stuff. It's like, it's about FNF, but it's also more like his crazy detective work. Um, so like that, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like for the most part, people probably do understand what I'm saying. And what I'm saying. Is that everyone should be bitches?
No, Gonzalez said, sorry, Dave. No. You'll be fucking sorry. Grabs your throat. Strangles the fucking life out of you. Nito just one dollar said, by the way, are you ever gonna go to Oni Plays again? I liked it when you were on Saturday Artistic Mall. I missed that, man. That was fun as shit. Uh, being on Oni Plays and doing Saturday Artistic, that shit was super fun. And like, most of the Saturday Artistic episodes that I was on, I edited. I pretty much edited them all, except I shared the Sonic one with... Uh... Fucking Colossal Camera. And then Colossal Camera also handled uh, the Zelda episode by himself. But yeah, Silent Artistic was awesome. I loved being on it and I loved editing it to put in all the jokes I wanted. But I spent way too long editing it though. I would spend like months and months editing an episode. I spent so long editing it and so little time drawing during that period that as soon as I was done editing all those, I immediately went and made, uh, uh, fucking, that thing where the giant red guy is punching that blue one, little Cory. Fucking people are just posting giant ass pixel arts in the chat. Hard or hardly working. I, right now I'm hardly working, I guess. So I'm reading shit. Anyway, wait. Garabytes tip two dollars. So sorry for all the questions. This will be the last one for the night. But if you don't mind me asking, current favorite Vocaloid song. You know, somebody asked me the other day. Uh, here, we'll, we'll listen to the current favorite. And we'll go back to the Sonic music. Uh, the current favorite is uh, Saihate. If I'm saying that right. This has been my favorite for a while. I drew the fan art for it a while ago too. I think I'm gonna go watch the German stream, go for it. Thanks a lot, so I'm gonna go to bed now. Good luck with the work day. Good luck with going to bed, my friend. So I saw that, um, fucking... Voice crack or anything. Saw... What was it? Oh! Project Megamix. Project Diva Megamix came out on PC. That's tempting to grab that, but I already, I already have it on Switch. I already have, like, a ton of scores on there. I can just start again, can I?
Boovent, Boovent alien? Boovent alien. It said hello Dave in all caps. So they really meant it. Man, I'm trying to draw like a, a cute fist here. I'm fucking it up. Anyway, that, that song Saihate, that is pretty sick. I dig that song a lot. Back to song. Oh. MH4 one dollar and said, "Is Fnet content in Fortnite a possibility? Fortnite is in desperate need of new friends representation outside of Gilded Guy and Fnet emotes music etc. In the game would be absolutely sick. Keep up the great work, by the way. I'm psyched to play the update." All my homies hate slow mode. Yeah, I think it was just one guy who was spamming chat. So I think, I think we can, I think we can take slow mode off. I think if that one guy spams again, he can just get a cute little timeout. <laughs> Want slow mode? Slow mode pause. We love slow mode. Well, you heard what they said. Mod just banned the term I fucked your mom from in the chat. No, put put I fucked your mom back as a greenlit term in the chat. There might be fans who have had sex with moms lately. Mine in particular. How are they gonna express that if they are if the word is banned? Realize that she's just actually realized something. She's gonna be pressing the knife against her own face if she does her hands like this. How do I not think about that? This song is crazy. Actually, might not even have to draw this knife because I did an angular, more like 3D knife, like an animation ago. Let's see if I can grab that and just slap it in there. So I know that this is the one I need to go into. Duplicate. 
knife uh, against face. So the knife against face, edit. So everyone loves the Sonic Rush soundtrack, but how about Sonic Rush is like an actual game? Do people actually like it? Is it actually good? And is that the game that Blaze like comes from? So I always see her in the promotional art for it. So I know people like Blaze. If I'm not mistaken. Why don't you blaze through some bitches? <laughs> I don't know. This really feels like Nagamuma. Oh. Oh, that, this one's washing over me like fucking warm water. I've actually never listened to this soundtrack before. Oh man, that's good. Cosmo not just wrote cock in the chat in all fucking caps. Alright, Cosmo not. Let's do you and I real fast. Let's do a role play. Cosmo not. I haven't been feeling so good. Here, Cosmo not. You're you're my you're my dad. You're my dad and I'm your son. Dad! Oh jeez, Dad, I haven't been feeling so hot lately. In fact, 
I went out the other day and I bought this gun. I think I'm gonna use it, Dad. Dad. Dad, what? Tell me, what do I do, Dad? Oh, Dad. I'm not feeling so good, Dad. Cosmonaut, as my father says, you should consider homosexuality. I say, oh, Dad. Oh, Dad, I tried. Oh, Dad, I've been gay, Dad. I think I asked my crush out. He said, he said he likes, um, he said, he said, he said he'd go on a date with me if I would give him your phone number. He said you look better than me, Dad. <laughs> Dad! Dad, I don't know, Dad, what am I gonna do? Dad! Use force with the gun you got. <laughs> Dad. Cosmonaut, you're being a shitty dad. Say something better. Be a better father. You know what that's you know what that's what he says. The son says, you know what, Dad? Fuck you. Your voice fucking sucks. Dad, give me some good fucking advice. Or you know what? I don't even want to kill myself. I want to kill you. I want to kill you, Dad. Just give me some fuck good advice for your dad. Cosmo says I love you. <laughs> Probably just good hygiene. <laughs> He's like, you got five minutes telling me something better than I gotta practice good fucking hygiene. Your ass is fucking grass. Is this gonna have to be any hygiene for you to fucking practice fucking six feet under the ground, bitch? Keep your appearance up, dude. Bang! You're dead. You're dead, dad. Now. You're dead. You're the. You are the worst dad ever. You're dead. Dad's dead. You pissed your son off so bad with such shitty advice. He killed you. I don't know, what do they call it? Work? trying too hard to get this fucking hand to work with the knife now. We'll try it against the head real fast, but I I've lost hope that it'll work.
Yeah, unfortunately, that looks like shit. Whoops. Alright, well, that sucks. But, life goes on. Zeke 10 to $5 said, Will something Funkin' related drop on Keep It A? I just keep seeing people talk about something happening then, but I don't know if you guys actually said that. Yeah, unfortunately we did not say that. There's no date for the update currently. Uh, Summon on tip $1 and said, Try to ask this before, but how do you feel about creators for FNF mods disallowing covers of their songs starting to DMCA people who do such? Uh, I mean, it's a free world. People are free to do what they want. I would like to live in a world where people don't do that. Uh, you know, Isaac's not going after anyone who's covering F and F songs, and I don't know the story of like why people are doing that, but who knows. Yeah, I guess I'd just like to hope that maybe they have a good reason I don't know about. Uh, but for the most part, I think that, like... I think that being overprotective of FNF stuff just strikes me as ironic, given the fact... Just given, just given the open, like... It's Friday Night Funkin'. The only people who own Friday Night Funkin' are the, the four people who made it. But every, everyone is free to use it and do whatever they want with it. So, like, if you're making FNF stuff, but then, like, being weird about other people playing with it, this is a community where we share toys with each other, guys. You can't, you can't come into the shared toy room and start being like, no. No, 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 these toys are mine. But who knows, maybe there's a good reason I don't know about. I'm not, I'm not getting, like, the full story. But in the context of somebody asking me how do I feel about people not playing nice with the toys, I don't think that's good. And I just hope that there, there's a good reason for anybody who does that. That being said, I do still think that, like, some basic stuff still applies. Like, you know, you could still be somebody who's, like... If you're stealing somebody's design before they can release, like, a mod or something... Like, that's not playing nice with toys. Like, that's being, no that's being a naughty boy who deserves a fucking dick slicing offing. Like, shit like that. Like, if, if anybody's stealing content or ideas from other people, it's like, you're fucked up. Um, 
or if you're just taking somebody else's mod and releasing it as your own. Um, I don't know. It's like look, there's gray areas for all this stuff. I don't know if there is anything in life that has one set answer. These eyebrows don't look entirely right. I will say what's really weird though is I met a guy the other day uh, just on the street and he said like dude you're an FNF baddie now and he gave me this gold necklace I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about so yeah I've just been wearing this like necklace with like, this fucking gold pendant on around for a whip And then I'm that girlfriend with giant boobs. Someone on tip one dollar and said part two to my last dono. Basically, some guy was making lazy covers, simply swapping vocals with FNF songs, profiting off of them on Spotify. And one artist in response now forbidding all covers like other songs, regardless if they're monetized. Well, I mean, I'll say this: if some guy was covering them and putting them on Spotify before the artist could put them on Spotify to make money off of it, then that person's obviously a piece of shit. And that's not, that doesn't even need like a debate. Um, but like, yeah, that like context all these things. But like, if it's just some guy putting songs on Spotify, I don't know. Spotify is a weird one, and I don't really know much about Spotify. Spotify is a weird one, because I feel like there's more hoops you have to jump through. And not to mention, if you're using a distro kid to put things on Spotify, distro kid will like hardcore say that you own that stuff. So like, I don't know. That's that is dicey territory. I won't lie. Because then like that's kind of claiming ownership over like someone's stuff. So like, if that person, as a knee-jerk response, just got really pissed and was like, "No more covering my shit," then it's like. I don't know, sometimes it only takes one dumb bitch to ruin the fun for everyone. I mean, like, you gotta think, like, some dickhead, like, 21 years ago was such a big fucking loser that now we all have to take our shoes off at the airport and go through TSA every time we go to the airport. All it took was a few people to fuck that up for all of us.
Dave, how long is the stream gonna be? I don't know. This hand is not cute. This hand is accurate, but it's not a very cute hand. I wanna do like a... I just don't feel like this hand is cute enough either. Oh my god, you're right, I did draw this with five fingers. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my god. Well, I was just looking at my own hand and trying to draw it from like the pose where I think I want her hand to be. Because right now, her hand is like... That's like facing like this way, but I think like a girly hand is more like... Palm clenched up. And I want like a very effeminate, screen type motion here. Draw the hands with too many knuckles, and all of a sudden they're like acting manly. Characters <laughs> with fingers are cringe. Not exactly what I'm saying, but true. There we go. See so that's cute. She make what SF carry of five fingers to fuck with people? I mean, the parents have all five fingers, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure I made them have all five fingers. Yeah, five, like, I'm trying to save five fingers for, like, the older characters in the game. Like, middle-aged characters. Like, either middle-aged characters or people who are such pieces of shit that they have no whimsical, childlike nature innocence in their body anymore. And they're just fuckers. They have all five fingers, because the joy of life is gone from them. Characters who still love life and love other human beings. They've got only the three fingers. So since Senpai's a vain piece of shit, even though he's younger than boyfriend and girlfriend, he's older than them in spirit and brain. He's a dumb fuck. He's only gonna live to be like 50 or 60 due to the high blood pressure. Except not really, because he's a video game character. Track goes fucking crazy.
time to die. Hatchaway said, I just got in here and yes, Sonic Rush OSD! Well, hello, Hatchaway. Guys, let's all enjoy the peaceful days we have together here in this chat. I feel like once the update comes out, the streams are gonna get wacky. Ah, oh, this song is totally gonna be stuck in my head. Hello, Nathan Imposter. mentioning earlier that it was thanks to like the fans that we were able to like actually get like industry professionals. One thing I'm excited for the update and the cams talked about this on Twitter and I had chimed in. Already there was like aside from just like paying people to do like heavy lifting on things. Uh one fun one fun fun thing is like yeah hiring like industry legends 
Uh, yeah, there's one musician. That's from a game series I really like that we hired. I can't say who it is. We gotta leave that a secret. But that's just one of the many things that when the update comes out, I'm excited for people to get to see that. We worked with a special, like, classic like, video game musician to handle the... some erect mixes. We had the musician handle high erect, and we had them handle, what was the other one? Oh yeah, fresh erect, right. And you know if we're trusting them with fresh, it's they gotta be pretty good, come on! Fresh was like the song that like popped off on like TikTok back in the day. It's possible some of you in this chat are from TikTok because of that too. Yeah, we won't let you down. This dude's cover of Fresh is sick. doesn't know there is there are some of the erect songs uh twice probably put out early on his youtube channel i think there's like three out in total just to kind of give people a sample of what like the erect songs will sound like uh and yeah song. Mm. You know, that's, that's actually a funny question, and you won't know why it's funny until week 8 comes out. So, no comment on that. Uh, I hope somebody, I hope if the stream is archived somewhere, people go back to this comment in the future once week 8 is out, and look at this moment. It won't be the most hilarious thing ever, but you'll just see it, know why it's funny, say lol, and move on with your life. It's just because it's not real, we spent all the money on crack. No, it's not it. <laughs> I've been pondering for ages and desperately need the answer to. Does boyfriend have a dick or only balls? 
We have canonical reference from having balls, but nothing definitively confirming he has a dick. Well, like I said earlier, I don't know if we're really gonna see his fucking direct skin, cock, and shaft, and head. But... I feel like if you've even turned into recent streams, you might notice... You might notice that he has a cock. Uh... But, yeah. Good question, Cheesy Breezy. Thanks for that one. He's for Ted with one dollar and said, I developed a headcanon that cassette girl was boyfriend smoking buddy slash weed dealer during college because I thought it was funny. That is pretty funny if you put it like that. Well said, T for Ted. Thank you. Music's too loud? Alright. Music down. Turn it down just a little bit. time to start animating and that's that's a good time we have open mouth a &A, there we go. The person who recommended the soundtrack today, God fucking bless you. This shit fucking owns. Some of these songs give me this feeling like this album is almost like a best of Hideki Naganuma. Some of these are just so iconically like his sound and some of his melodies that he used and other stuff.
hope that soundtrack was fucking amazing while it lasted. Oh, I need more Naganuma in my life. I'm feeling complete now. The soundtrack is amazing. I was tempted. Thursday night thump. Okay, so we're gonna put this cute face here. Drink it too much. It's too big as it is normally, though. Where is it? What is it about this? The eyes too high up? Is that it? care in chat like an hour ago. Oh, someone said, please say it. Good call. Okay, so I'll probably just still chop off there to that. This boyfriend had pubic hair. I mean, of course he does. Everyone does.
settings. Flash did not include hidden layers. There we go. Gotta put these under the corners of her eyes so that way we can differentiate where her eyes are on her head. Probably have to tweak it because it does feel a little weird. Creature? Yeah, I can see it. Where's two headed BF guy? It feels weird without him. You're right, it does. One person said, God, I missed this game. And what makes me sad is they could be meaning Jet Set or FNF. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been so long. Alright, here, I'm gonna draw two headed BF since that guy's always wanted it every day of his life. But he's not here, so it's funny, because the one time I'm finally giving him what he's asked for always, he's not around for it. For people who don't know what the fuck this is, there's a guy who comes into chat, like, every fucking stream, and asks for a boyfriend with two heads. And I never knew what the fuck he was talking about for the longest time. But now I finally understand. He says something like they love each other or something. Like the two heads are like romantically involved. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about.
fucking scary. Boyfriend, he's multiplying. He went to girlfriend's house and got bitten by her freakish dog. And he itched the scratch at night. They all said, "Nah, don't worry, our dog didn't do nothing to you." Then all night he tossed and turned feverishly until he woke up the next day looking like this. like this. Showing him with five fingers. What the fuck? Sonic said hello. 
Well, hello, Tom Lyson. Fuck, I put on a fucking layer behind, I'm an idiot. That looks fine. Looks good. Dying to get the oldies but happies. That's so good. This one's so good.
Oopsies. Yeah, it looks good-ish. We'll do these as separate parts so that way they can uh, ease and slide a little bit. You'll see what I mean in just a fuck about it. Mr. Arcade, I must go now. I need to get busy on my cosplay with. I'll see you later. Goodbye, Hatchaway. Corey shows me Friday Night Funk and Rule 34 every day. I try to look away and avert my gaze. <laughs> but unfortunately I'm forced to see horrors beyond my comprehension. There's also that cartoon Speedo made, lol. Watch that cartoon every second of every day. You are an enlightened individual.
We'll do some doodle suggestions and then we'll call it a night for the stream. Cause I'm starting to get to the point where I'm just zoning out. I think it's about time I turn it all off and get focused on my own. But first, we'll do doodles. Someone said draw mom punching Pico. Mario BLJ. The sound in the song sounds like the fucking sound for when you lose in Metal Gear Solid 1. Or is it Metal Gear Solid 2? I can't remember. I drew his feet way too big.
No, draw racist Mario. Alright. Racist Mario. Flash gets cartoon of all time. Seashell. How do you know what she looks like? Let's draw a skin and pump for Nintendo 64. Draw Walter White. All right, we'll draw Walter White. We'll draw Walter White on the N sixty four. Just kidding. We're gonna draw normal Walter White. in his head.
What does Jesse Pinkman look like? a full comic, okay?
<laughs> this comic sucks. This comic sucks, don't bet.